The Jalview Scores workbook contains several web-based bioinformatic exercises suitable for 15 to 18-year-old biology school pupils. Each exercise is designed to reinforce concepts that are being taught in the classroom in topics such as molecular biology and genetics. Jalview, developed at the University of Dundee, is one of the most widely used programmes for visualising and analysing DNA, RNA and protein sequences. It has a multiple window interface that allows scientists to view sequences, 3D structures and evolutionary trees side by side. It also has a number of tools for aligning and analysing data. All the materials required to run the exercises are available on the school's webpage on the Jalview website. The URL is shown on the screen. Clicking on the View the School's Workbook link in Section 1 opens the workbook. The instructions are arranged in two columns. The first column contains text that describes each step, and the second contains screenshots that illustrate these steps. The workbook also contains additional supporting information and questions. We have tried to make the exercises in the workbook as easy to run as possible. For example, each exercise starts by clicking a link. This launches Jalview in an adjacent web browser, reads in the files and opens the 3D structure viewer as appropriate. All that is needed is a computer with a web browser and internet access. As Jalview opens within a web browser, no software has to be downloaded. In exercise 1, sequences of DNA are viewed alongside the 3D structure. The structure viewer is interactive, so the double helix can be rotated and zoomed. The windows are linked, so colouring the base in the sequence will also colour the base in the structure. When a nucleotide base is selected on the sequence, its location on the structure is visible. In exercise 2, a split frame view of Jalview opens. This views the DNA sequence of a gene alongside the protein product that it codes. Placing the mouse cursor on an amino acid residue in the protein sequence will highlight the codons in the DNA that codes for that specific amino acid. RNA can also be viewed. In exercise 3, a riboswitch mRNA sequence is viewed alongside its 3D structure. Proteins with a range of different biological functions are also studied, allowing pupils to investigate how protein structure affects biological function. There is an exercise that compares myoglobin sequences from a range of animals. Differences in the sequences are examined and a tree created. The final set of exercises focuses on how mutations in the genome can cause disease. First, the DNA sequence of the gene that is linked to sickle cell anemia is studied and the exons and introns identified. The next exercise focuses on the single nucleotide mutation in the coding DNA responsible for sickle cell anemia. Its impact on the beta globin protein is investigated and the location of the mutation on the haemoglobin protein determined. As pupils work through the exercises, they gradually develop the skills required to run Jalview, allowing them to investigate these molecules independently. The end of the workbook contains some supplementary advanced exercises where pupils read the protein sequences from public biological databases such as the Protein Data Bank. In this exercise, opening the 3D viewer is a little tricky as it involves context menus. The position of the mouse is important when opening context menus. The cursor should be placed on the name of the sequence before right-clicking the mouse. Then select 3D structure data from the menu options. Please do visit the school's webpage and try some of the exercises for yourself. Other additional materials such as videos are also available there.